My name is Daryl Haggard. I am a faculty member at McGill University in Quebec, uh, Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and I work on supermassive black holes. Part of the reason that Sagittarius A star is having such a big impact is it's our black hole. So this is the supermassive black hole that lives in our galaxy, in the Milky Way galaxy. And so this gives us this sort of like extra sense of attachment to this black hole. We really think it's, you know, an incredibly important component of the Milky Way galaxy. And so learning about it is extra exciting and extra sort of relevant for us. So for the EHT, there are so many things changing and happening all the time right now. So we have amazing data we've shared with you, but we also have additional analyses. So specifically to look at magnetic fields around the black hole. We have data that we collected in 2018 and 2021 and 2022. So the EHT is still very laser focused on Sagittarius A star and M87 and trying to extract as much knowledge as we can out of the amazing data we've collected for these two black holes. One misconception is that the light that we are seeing is coming from inside the black hole. Of course, that can't happen because once light and material falls inside the black hole, once it's crossed the event horizon, it can't get back out. So the black hole itself is truly dark. Light doesn't come out of it, no information comes out of it. So what we're actually showing you an image of is the, the hot gas and the photons swirling just outside the black hole. And so it's sort of like imagining uh, a person standing in front of a very bright light and you can't see them, you just see their silhouette and you see the bright light all around them. That's more like the image that we're showing. We're showing this sort of silhouette or shadow in relief against all of the, the, the bright plasma and photons around the outside. So it's an image of the light um, kind of coming from just outside the black hole. EHT is not done yet, so we are working really hard. As I mentioned, we have all of this new data that we've already collected and we now need to analyze and interpret and share with everyone. Plus, we are always planning for the future. So we're planning uh, observational campaigns for 2023 and on into the future. And of course, what we're trying to do is to add more telescopes into our array so that the new data we collect is even more rich. And we know, for example, that Sagittarius A star, the one in our Milky Way, actually has bright variable events, bright flares, and we see those with space-based telescopes like the Chandra X-ray Observatory. And what we really want is to take an image of the black hole at the same time it's having one of these bright flares. So we got really close in 2017, but we just missed by like a matter of minutes. Um, and so going forward into the future, this is the kind of thing we want to capture interesting deviations away from just the normal state of the black hole and to try to capture those with the EHT and, and other observatories observing from the ground and also from space.